Hi. Well, what is up? You know, this is essentially a podcast about, well, my experience, strength, and hope. You know, what I can do within carrying the message. This is that of Pancake Marathon. Well, welcome, and thank you very much for making this part of your recovery today. Absolutely. So essentially, what I would like to highlight at this moment is what is essentially you know, in essence, or what it may be, you know, because, you know, I don't know everything. I really, really, I don't. I'm not sure, you know, how to talk right for everybody else. And yet that's the value or one of the values within it being a spiritual program and not religious, you know, essentiality, you know. And so, yeah, in a sense, I would like to highlight within expanding my experience, strength, and hope within carrying a message of what step nine is, you know, can be within itself. So in a sense, as an example, and it does highlight within itself of what is, you know, harming others, right? You know, step nine, as it states is, you know, you make amends to everyone that you have harmed, except to do so would injure them or others. And so I would like to highlight in, in a sense of expanding on the other part in that of step nine, that word, other, you know, in, in, in and of itself to say simply, you know, um, you're, you can be the other in that. And so, you know, for just a example, when it comes to, you know, making amends to somebody else, you don't add hurt, you don't add what they don't know, you know, essentially, and, and. That's why I, you know, really adore the help that I asked for, you know, and essentially kept showing up for and seeing how the miracle can play out, you know, and leaving before the miracle, you know, that slogan right there in and of itself to say simply that the letter I got, which was already pretty much formatted within that of, of being able to take responsibility of where my part is and in essence to the simplicity of itself the simple fact of the matter of giving another a chance to share you know and yes highlighting that of forgiveness in in this aspect is you know you can only forgive those that you can control and the same thing for that of oh my goodness what is that give me just a moment yes i do recall at this moment so forgiveness control and expectations only work on those that you can control and you know just to highlight you know because some are fresh in recovery some may be hearing this for the first time that you can only control your actions you cannot control anything else right you cannot control going off of the wording of step nine you can, can you cannot control them right so you cannot control time anything other than what is the other in that right and so within highlighting the, uh, you know, expanding the word wording or within the wording of step nine, you know, the other. And so forgiveness, control, and expectations only work on and for those that you can control, which is your actions, essentially, right? And so touching base on that whole aspect of what is, you know, the, the giving somebody else a chance to, to share. <clears throat> Now, I've heard someone's experience within their step nine, you know, men's letter, essentially, where, you know, they didn't want to make it and they didn't know if they could because essentially, you know, they kind of lost the ability to communicate to them as such. And yet life happens where it lined up to where they get to make that amends, right? And so they actually did it. And, and there's a part where, you know, with the set aside prior in 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 and of itself essentially it comes down to the simple fact of you know when you hear somebody else's you know uh ability to share within giving them a chance to you know share or touch on something that you didn't touch on because you absolutely don't want to add hurt essentially um that uh, as you know the one that was sharing of their experience of how step nine went for them they didn't really you know, hear what they were saying, right? They were there to listen, 
um, and partake when they needed to, you know, uh, essentially act within res responding appropriately, right, to practice of principles in all your affairs, yet to essentially say that that forgiveness factor, be it the same for anyone else, is only for yourself, right? You're just forgiving your parts because that hurt, that character that someone else is holding on to is not you, right? That is their job to let that hurt and pain go, essentially. So with that giving some context to what kind of step nine within my experience, you know, um, and being able to carry a message, you know, based around my experience, strength, and hope of what step nine can be, you know, essentially, you know, as, as this example of what I kind of got inspired or the spiritual awakening, we can say within this, or that of being able to carry a message and, you know, within making a podcast, right? And sharing that message with my experience, strength, and hope, you know, I wonder how many times I've said that of my experience, strength, and hope. Oh, there's another one yet. I'm just attempting to make it not so serious, you know, because uh, I know that when I'm serious, I lose the fact of, you know, humility and having joy, essentially, to say. Now, if the word serious works for you, then be serious about the steps and all that kind of stuff and as such. Yeah, I know that me having a character defect of discipline, essentially, how my flavor of recovery actually rolls into effect when I practice principles in all my affairs that being serious is within of what would be defined as my stinking thinking, right? You know, because, you know, they're they're not doing it the right way or am I not doing it the right way? And if they don't do it the right way, then things are going to go happen. And, you know, it's all in a sense of the fear, you know, this false evidence appearing real, this, this, um, or the false emotion appearing real and then it makes me want to go and have fear at the level of you know f everything and run or um fight everybody and relapse fear yet to face everything and rise because it's all about within recovery changing the way that you look at things you know giving yourself uh, the chance to trust in your higher power and know that you can't do this alone and all that kind of stuff so, such all that kind of stuff as such essentially and yet, to give into kind of how I wanted to, you know, uh, touch base on what step nine within the other aspect, which is then yourself. So, let's see how this can go, you know, because I don't know everything, and I really absolutely don't, right? I cannot tell you, other than my experience, strength, and hope, which may not be within your understanding, of a higher power, which essentially how I see that is, it's your peace of mind, right? How do you keep your peace of mind? How do you essentially don't take or still, you know, one and the same of someone else's peace of mind and or, you know, essentially give yours away because no one deserves that. And both of those two things are the same, you know, essentially, you know, sat insanity, insanity, or, you know, in a sense could be in a changeable from the standpoint of are you holding on to the pain focusing on the problem or are you focusing on the solution are you willing to you know uh welcome and thank the message to that of instead of trapping the messenger you know essentially you know because from the prime example or whatever it may be worded as answer that door to the messenger because it has one purpose essentially and so it's going to blow your house down because you didn't answer it just to, you know, hear what it had to say. You know, it's a singing telegram. It's not going to harm you, right? But because you want to uh, go to an extreme and say, oh, no, I don't know, or whatever it may be, right? And so, yeah. So, within itself, in essence. So, to kind of really elaborate, and I'm doing my best of my ability to expand on this other within of the word of what step nine can be about and so let's get into it shall we let's see you know somebody you know through my experience of strength and hope because they are part of my life essentially and, and it is a real life experience you know it's a, a, the experience factor and so in a sense i'm just communicating not isolating from the simple fact of you know to carry a message 
through, yes, my experience, strength, and hope, because I am not the face of any recovery program, essentially. And so, you know, someone that I know is, you know, paying $175 a week for a phone bill. And it's like, you know, the example that they gave through their experiences that this phone company has been loyal to them. Well, that's great, you know, and yet to highlight that of the simple simple fact of the matter of you know starting where you're at and you know just for today you know and that of you know living life on life's terms you know those are essentially the kind of slogans that um pop up in my head essentially because i put the work in and showed up for the miracle and you know um all that good stuff and practicing the principles and all my affairs essentially And, and you know kind of touching base on what step 12 is you know of uh i trying to carry a message and because i put the work in of you know my experience strength and hope of having a spiritual awakening and you know not giving up hope you know because maybe at that time they didn't want to hear me and or whatever it may be you know they were just you know saying that's cool and yet they're hard-headed in a sense of because i gave them the ability and then of such as a knowledge of you know, there's a phone plan and a phone company that will charge you $300 a year for the same exact thing. You know, uh, just to give some context within this, they don't necessarily, other than, you know, the convenience factor of being able to, you know, maybe watch a movie or whatever it is on this portable computer that acts as a phone, you know, the modern day phone of a cell phone, whatever it may be, right? There's that factor. And so it's like, yeah, you got to live life on life's terms. This is where we're at in life today. And yet, the simple fact of, you know, other than that convenient factor of being able to, you know, have some entertainment factor and all that kind of stuff, that they don't necessarily know how to use the technology that's there. Like, they don't necessarily, you know, know how to copy and paste or or that of, you know, that factor at that level, right? They're just getting started and they're at such the young moment in as i would call it they're you know as i would quote it as i get younger every day because i do right you know it's about getting to the 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 lightheartedness and the joy and don't be so serious in and of itself right and yet as they would quote it that they get older every day and you know they quite are up there in the the year factor right of the age or whatever it may be of getting older and so you know, essentially, they may be hard-headed and, and with those, that, that context that I just lined up, essentially, so that you can, you know, expand on your own understanding of the essentiality of they're harming themselves, right? Within step nine, they're harming themselves, right? And, and also at the simple fact of giving context that they are fresh in recovery and they, in the sense of they're just starting their life over again, maybe for the first time or whatever it may be, right? But the reason why I'm saying they're not starting where they're at and just for today, just for this moment, right? You know, I'm not saying don't pay that phone bill off or whatever it may be or complete the contract of what they agreed to because, you know, you only have your word and essentiality, that's what you have, you know, essentially. And so, you know, I get being loyal You know, because maybe that's another way of saying amends. You're being loyal within finding the unity factor of not isolating anymore. You know, taking responsibility and that of what it may be of, you know, um, being of honor. Maybe that's another way of understanding amends, you know. And and it's funny because per se, you know, the the wording that has come to my mind, you know, some could call it an epiphany because not everybody relates to all recovery language and lingo and and verbiage which is great it's a spiritual program yet maybe another way of understanding the simplicity of what a thank you is is in its simple form maybe because it is simple it's so elegant that saying thank you to somebody is saying that they are your hero in that moment in that in, in life you know and yet you know essentially that's kind of what I wanted to touch base on that with them being so hard headed and, and yes, that context of how they 
are able to interact with that technology of a modern day phone, essentially, is just kind of insanity. And it highlights to me, step one, that your life is unmanageable because the simple, simple fact of the matter is you're just starting off your life again, right? And, you know, they, and, and at the same time, they also, you know, have got a car and they put over $1,400 within that car and all that kind of stuff. Yet, how do you balance that out with the simple fact of being able to eat today and have your peace of mind and not be so stressed out because you want to eat today, but you also have to do this car thing and you have a phone bill and it's, it's just like, so that's why it's, it's kind of, to me, how I see it is insane. It really quite literally is, you know, um, yet it's okay because I tried, right? Step 12, because I see the value in the work and how I understand my higher power and all that goodness and all that stuff as such. And yet they don't at this moment, right? And so I get it. That's why it's so crucial to, um, you know, uh, focus on the solution because and not really keep on attempting to understand the incomprehensible demoralizations of upon the incomprehensible part essentially because uh, you ne will never get it it's why it's incomprehensible you will never understand why you used again right you know essentially when you're said that you're done using you are a hundred percent absolutely done using and so then that brings it into the next thing of how do you keep doing the next right thing right and so you start where you're at you live life on life's terms and just for this moment just for today right essentially and so like i said i'm not sure if i touched base enough on this but you know i i just i don't it's okay if i don't get it it really is it's not me and and yet like i said my main purpose within this is to carry a message through my experience strength and hope of you know not being being the face of that recovery program whatever it may be 12 step or non-12 step essentially and so it's just yeah i don't want to keep going on and on in a sense but i imagine you know, there's parts to where, you know, just simply say, just to kind of recap that at that moment when you need to eat today, it's time to realize that you can't keep paying $175 a week for a phone that you don't necessarily know how to use in the simplicity fact of, yes, it's nice to have the convenience factor of the entertainment, yet with it having the ability to have a $300 plan for a year, or what it may be essentially that you're still going to get the same out of it it's going to be the same thing you're just being able to have more of a peace of mind with more capability of you know bartering in the modern day means of exchanging you know the the income that you accrued to that fact of you know living a life on life's terms and yet this is what i have within that you know absolutely so overall you know, hopefully I aligned something up for somebody today. Because that's what it's all about. Showing up for your life and being willing to leave it better than you found it. That's how I see Tradition 7 through my experience, strength, and hope of being able to understand and comprehend. You know, just there are some that don't get that chance yet. If you leave it better than you found it, giving somebody a chance to have that, then, you know, have the hope that they will utilize that because you had the foresight to make it to where somebody didn't have to work so hard, essentially, right? Um, and that you have hope that they'll communicate within, if they need to ask questions, they shall, right? Yet, you let go and give it to God, basically, because all you can do is hope that they are going to use that for something as such as how you within your intent of the whole entire aspect of itself of doing as such right lining it up to where they can you know not work so hard essentially 
right? Yet, will they? Who knows? That's okay, because that's why you got to give it to God and let go. You know, live life on life's terms. Start where you're at and be ready to carry a message by practicing the principles in all your affairs. And yet, to simply say, I hopefully I line something up for today. today. And because I know you will be able to line something up for somebody else today too. Because you're showing up in your life. Don't leave before the miracle happens. I mean, essentially, you can always leave after the fact. But I don't think you will. If you stay within practicing and principles in all your affairs. And yet, ultimately, I hope that you find some thing that requires you to keep coming back. Whatever that may be. Whatever that may be. It's your recovery. It's up to you. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a moment of, you know, maybe you smile now or smile back at later. Because essentially your shoes do fit just just right. And that fact of you do deserve to take up space. It's just, that's a simple fact of the matter of it. Absolutely. Thank you for letting me be part of my recovery. And thank you for being, you know, part of my recovery as well. And you showing up to be part of yours. Have a beautiful one. Thank you. Now, and the simple fact of the matter is, is that this is next part of the, you know, closing of this podcast, of the conclusion is this is kind of how I feel about recovery, essentially. This song, you know, go with it with an open mind because you deserve, deserve <laughs> essentially that. The willingness to show up in your life today. Thank you. I'll follow you wherever you go. Stay close to you, cause darling, you're my home.